Uh, hi guys, my name is Narayan and I welcome all of you in this video and uh, in this video we are going to learn about the troubleshooting of OSPF basically so before going further I would like to introduce you about my channel so I have a YouTube channel which is basically based on CCNA and MCITP if you go to YouTube and type my name N-A-R-A-Y-A-N-B-A-G-H-E-L Narayan Vaghel so on the top my channel will come uh, Narayan B A G H E L Bagil. So on the top you will see my channel, and uh, if you subscribe you will get all the updates from there. Uh, uh, till now I have uploaded 243 videos. So basically all the videos are on both the technology uh, server 2016, 12, Microsoft technol technology basically, and CCNA. Or uh, uh, apart from this I have uh, I, I'm this much only, and uh, let's begin this video here. So there are a few commands we should be knowing and we should be aware about which is very helpful to troubleshoot the OSVF in, uh, issues if we have configured uh, that kind of in, uh, I mean network infrastructure. So in this video we will be talking about one by one all those commands. So first of all uh, we will see uh, what is the output of command uh, by uh, so IP OSVF. So this will be our first command. See, so uh, uh, what I have done here, I have taken a uh, uh, OSPF configuration also here. So I had configured uh, this uh, uh, setup or configuration one of my video I have already uploaded. So if you see here, I am running this uh, so IP OSPF uh, command, OSPF command and hitting enter. So you can see it is a OSPF configured router and if you see any router, all routers are OSPF configured here. So IP OSPF, and let me hit enter. So th this is how you can see here. Okay, so we will see one by one all those commands. So first of all, I will tell you uh, what output will come if we run this command. So IP OSPF, if we run this command, so IP OSPF command, it will provide you the information of the neighbor routers or neighbor devices connected to router on which we are running this command. For example, uh, uh, for example, if uh, I run this command on uh, router, this router, router, uh, this is my router 2. If I run this command here, so I have two uh, directly connected net uh, router here. One is this one and second one is this one. So this router is connected from this uh, uh, serial 001 and this is also serial 001. So we will see what output we will get here. If I go to this router and run same command OSVF never here we will add and hit enter so as you can see here I'm getting the same kind of uh, uh, table here first one is router ID second one is PRI third one is state dead, dead time address and interface so we'll verify here this is my let me go to this one Okay, so same thing is here. This is my router ID and state uh, PRI state dead interval address and the interface. So this is what information we can uh, retrieve from uh, routers or neighbor routers about the neighbor routers with this uh, with the help of this command. So what it is basically. So first of all, the router ID of the uh, remote neighbor. So this is uh, a router ID or never never. Uh, ID basically okay the second one is the OSP of priority of the remote neighbor used for uh, DR or VDR election so basically this ID used to select uh, DR which is a designated router or backup designated router uh, used uh, basically we use this network uh, ID I mean OSP of priority of the uh, remote neighbor uh, for the selection of this DR and VDR and the current neighbor state so this is the state full state or uh, I, have, uh, I have uploaded one separate video in which I have explained about the lots of state of the uh, routers so this this column will provide us the status of state the third one is dead interval dead, dead interval timer here and uh, the, the next column is uh, 
uh, the connecting IP address of the remote neighbor. So this this is our neighbor uh, router's IP address, and this is interface. Next, uh, we will see we have one more command. So IP OSPF database so with the help of this command what we will uh, get the topology table provide the following information actual link or root uh, the next one is advertising router id the next one is link state age timer and sequence number and checksum for each entry so this kind of four basic information we will get from routers with the help of this uh, so ip OSPF database command if we run this command here so as you can see here it is showing this is my link id this is ad advertising router and this is age again and this is sequence uh, number and checksum number so uh, this information is uh, if you see here this is one part and this is one part okay so this information is i'm getting for area 01 i have configured two area on this router and this information is for area one so you should not be uh, uh, feel any confusion so if you if you run this command on one router let me uh, take this router this one and uh, so ip usb database so we will get only uh, area two information here and here also in uh, area two because i have configured area two only but if you oh, if you go to this router i think here i have configured two area i'm not sure uh let me check yes yeah, here i think uh, here i have configured one is my backbone area and second one is area one so if we put this command here it will provide us the same kind of information this is for area zero and this is for area one so this is how we get information with the help of uh, so ip OSPF database command the next command uh, we can use for tr troubleshooting is so ip OSPF. if you want to view the specific information about an OSPF process so basically this is to identify the problem or issues or uh, uh, how to troubleshoot uh, for a specific process so this command will provide what is this one one is like uh, OSPF process ID we configure one two three four five whatever we want to configure till 99 uh, 999 so as you can see here this is providing local router ID this is our local router ID this 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 one and uh, this again is it is providing some more information like spf spf is shortest path first scheduling information and various spf timers if you see here one by one it will provide lots of information this is uh, uh, let me take different color okay so as you see this is your spf schedule delay every five second and a whole time between two spf 10 seconds and uh, we have some more information here the space the number of interface in a specific area so here you can see number of interface in an area uh, one is in this backbone area interface is one and if we talk about this one area uh, one here also one interface only so this kind of information we will get with the help of so ip ospf one i mean so ip of OSPF, ospf command and again it will provide some more information like uh, the, uh, the sequence number and checksum for the each entry and uh, link state age timer also here will you will get now we have one more command so ip ospf interface if we put this command or we if we enter this command it will provide the local router id again and interface network type and ospf cost for the interface i'm talking about the particular interface a specific interface for example serial 001 or serial 00 so we will get this much of information the interface hello and dead timers and a list of never adjacencies so if we say here the same thing is mentioned here also interface address is this one area is this one and network type point to point this one and the cost and uh, we have some more information here so we will try to see whether uh, we are getting same information or not so let me run this command here same router 
the command is show IP interface OSPF interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 1 hit enter so we are getting the same kind of information this is also my uh, point to point connection and cost 24 and state point to point priority 0 no designated uh, no designated router on this network so we have not configured any designated router yet and no backup designated router for this network and timer interval hello dead so this kind of information we will get uh, with the help of this command and very helpful for the troubleshooting uh, OSPF related issues the next command is uh, like if you want to see uh, to view routing protocol specific inf information uh, protocol specific information if you want to uh, retrieve uh, we can use this command so IPF uh, so IP protocols so the, the command will provide us the following information locally originated network that are being advertised in the uh, second information will be source for routing information and administrative distance of never sources so we will try here as you can see here if I type this command so IP protocol so it is showing router protocol routing protocol is OSPF outgoing update filter list for all interfaces not set so we have not configured this the router id is again uh, 3.3.3.3 .3 number of area on this router is 2 i have i have taken the screenshot of the same router okay uh, normal 2 step 0 and 0 and ssa i have uploaded separate separate video how to uh, videos how to configure normal os uh, normal OSPF area, how to configure a step, and SSA not so stubby area, not so uh, totally not so stubby area. So if you if you subscribe my channel, you will get all the videos from there. So I'm requesting you or asking you to please subscribe for the more updates. Now if uh, now here you see maximum path four path we have routing for networks. One network is 10.1.1 and the second network is 172.22.20 and this is my routing information gateway is 2.2.2.2 and 3.3.3 and the distance is administrative distance is 1.110 which is 110 and this is last update timer and uh, if we go to router we will see here the same thing I'm taking if I take this router so IP protocols hit enter so same thing it is also providing uh, here we are getting two network if I take different router like uh, this one it will give one network only so IP protocol hit enter so now it is showing only one router which is connected to uh, I mean single router uh, single network only so this is how we can retrieve multiple information to troubleshoot and identify the misconfiguration in OSPF environment we have some more command like uh, if we want to reset uh, OSPF process we can use this clear IP uh, OSPF process this is the command to be used for this and the next next command if you want uh, like uh, uh, to know about uh, virtual links we can use this IP so IP OSP of virtual links let me try here we will see this command whether it is working or not uh, so IP OSP of virtual links so if we put this I think I have not configured any virtual link on this router so it is not coming and uh, but it will work if we have enabled this virtual uh, links I, I have uh, created one separate video how to up, uh, how to configure virtual link and why do we need to configure virtual links if you subscribe you will get and uh, similarly we have some more commands here uh, this one we have to display routes to both ABRS and ASPRs so IP OSPF border router and if I go to this one and try here it may it may not sh it may not show uh, let me see if I have any other uh, uh, OSPF here I have yeah uh, I have configured one uh, totally not so stubby area so I think it will give us some information here uh, let's see it is opening until then let me go here and so IP OSPF 
what was that command I was talking about uh, let me try first here uh, border routers so let's see first this one whether it is showing or not border router uh, OSPF process one internal routing table could uh, this one this one so by uh, yes it is showing one AVR area one and uh, this is AVR uh, area zero this one and for this one I'm running on router one I mean router then okay so it is showing uh, for this side and this side so let me uh, take one more uh, scenario here so let me try this one this uh, this should be my area border router ABR router uh, or let me try this command here so IP OSV of water router hit enter it is not providing any information uh, let me check this router enable so IP OSVF border router here also I'm not getting any router I think I am not configured or uh, let me just so IP OSVF it is configured then it should uh, border routers so uh, let me consider this uh, example only so we, we, we came to know here it is providing information about the ABR router also okay and this is SPF which is our sort of past first and the next command is uh, we can use for troubleshooting uh, to debug like uh, debug IP OSP of adjacency event and uh, OSP of hello so this is what I tried to bring for you guys in this video I hope this video will be informative for you if it is informative then please uh, subscribe my channel for more updates uh, uh, don't forget to like this video comment on this video and share this video because if you share this video then it will reach to the multiple people and they also uh, come to learn and for more updates keep watching my videos and subscribe my channel till then bye bye